Welcome back everyone, my name is Davin Reddy and today we're going to talk about a merger between Cloudera and Hortonworks. For some people it's very important, for some people okay it's a, it's a normal news. In fact when I heard this news for, for the first time in October I was like okay they are doing a merger but yesterday uh, on Jan 3rd they have finalized the deal okay and so the market share goes for so cloud the company name is still Cloudera so even after merging uh, Cloudera maintains their name uh, it's Cloudera Inc and the, 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 the share equity share would be 60 for Cloudera and 40 for Hortonworks. Yes, that's the financial part, right? But why it's so important? Why this news is important? Big data world is very exciting, right? So if you talk about the current world now, we are moving towards big, uh, we are moving towards machine learning. For machine learning as well, data is very important, right? You need to work with huge amount of data sets. And that's where big data solution, one of them is Hadoop, is very important, right? And so to make your machine learning stuff works, you need data and that's where you need big data solutions. Now these two companies, they were they were the market leaders for this too. Yes, we had some other companies. Uh, they are also into this, like we have MapR. You know, we also have cloud services. We have Amazon, we have Google, we have Microsoft. So they also provide some alternative for, uh, for Hadoop. So right? instead of using Hadoop, you can also go for that. The amazing thing is in 2005, when Hadoop, comes, Hadoop got famous, everyone thought that will be future. You know, SDFS uh, will be the future. Yes, it's a future, right? I mean, it, it was a future for at that point. So till 2005, 6, everything was exciting. The only problem is company who uses Hadoop and or Spark on, on, on other bench. Hadoop normally favors Java, Spark favors Scala. Now the companies who use this solution from Cloudera or Hortonworks, they need to do a lot of setup, right? They have to pay huge amount of money to these companies. And in fact, this company like Cloudera and Hortonworks, they were doing so much of promotion because they were, they were rivals, right? So they have to promote their products and they were doing so much of advertisements, they were doing so much of marketing just to promote their products. And they were spending huge amount of money there and that's where they were charging their customers a lot of money. And yes, it is damn costly to set up a Hadoop environment, right? Because you are converting a normal machine into a distributed sharing system, right? That's where problem started. You have to spend huge amount of money. But then the thing is, Hadoop is still awesome. But on the other hand, we have cloud services, right? One of the biggest rival for these two companies, yes, they were fighting, but then they thought we have a common enemy, which is Amazon. Not just Amazon, other companies as well, but Amazon is the market leader, right? They wanted to compete with Amazon because Amazon is famous in cloud environment. You know, Cloudera being a name that's cloud era is not into cloud much, right? So Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they provide you awesome services for, for cloud or for big data. Example, Amazon has Amazon MapReduce, which is AMR, which is very famous, right? In fact, you don't have to pay huge amount of money for the installation because it is on cloud. They will manage everything. You don't have to do your management. You don't have to do your setups. Uh, plus, this company, cloud service company, they also provide serverless computing, which is you don't have to do any setup. You don't have, even have to do virtualization. Everything will be done by the company and you don't even own a server, not even virtual servers. Uh, even if you if you want to do co some competition some computation you just have to pay for that amount so let's say if you need 10 cores of a cpu and you need uh, it, you will be doing that for let's say 10 seconds you just have to pay for that amount you don't have to manage any servers and this is the feature which comes consumers want right so as a consumer we want to spend less money we want to make things very fast and that's where Consumers were moving towards cloud, like Amazon, Google. Yes, Cloudera and Hortonworks, they have some benefits, right? Because Cloudera provides some features which, which Amazon cannot provide. Uh, Hortonworks has some features which Amazon cannot provide. And now combining them, Hortonworks and Cloudera, they can provide end-to-end -end solution for the consumers. And yes, consumers are happy because they will, they will get something which they wanted from a long time. But what about the cloud services? Maybe uh, these two companies now will focus more on cloud as well. That's where, that's where the things will change because Hadoop is more towards enterprise market, right? What about cloud? Uh, that's where we have to find some alternatives. Maybe these companies will come up with something now. In fact, when I was learning Hadoop for the first time in year 2012 or 13, I was excited, right? I was excited. So I was doing this uh, research, you know, which is better, Cloudera or Hortonworks. Uh, I realized Cloudera is better. I was supposed to do certification as well, but I got some other project to work on and I love that. But now you don't have to worry about two certifications, right? Because we have one, either you can go, I mean, you can go for Cloudera certification. I mean, that's what they will name now. They will not be going for Hortonworks uh, certification. Now, even I'm not sure about the future of this merger, right? It, will it be a good thing or a bad thing for the uh, consumers or the uh, partners? They are saying it will, be, it will benefit everyone. 
I'm not sure. You have to wait for the, you know, we have to wait for one or two years to see how things will work because uh, they are rivals, right? They were, they were rivals and employees of two rival companies, it's, it is difficult for them to work together. In fact, I have experienced this personally. Uh, let's see how they work together and how, what will be the future of this merger. But something is for sure. We will be having some big solutions coming up to compete with all these big companies. So if you are into big data world, this is something you have to observe. And if you want to learn big data, this is something you have to take care of as well uh, when you learn big data. So think about what solution you want to pick up and start working on that. Right. So that's about this merger. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this uh, on the com in the comment section. What do you think about this merger? Uh, what I feel is Amazon is winning in the cloud space. Plus, they, they will be also winning in the data space. Let's see how these two companies come up with their solutions. So that's it, everyone. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section. And do subscribe for further videos because I'll be putting a lot of uh, tech news, not mobile news, tech news on this channel, plus uh, the amazing programming content. So that's it, everyone. Bye-bye.